What's up guys, Jay and Derek here with Tap and Turn Gaming coming at you with another EDH gameplay. Uh, today will be my Derivi Imperial Tactician deck up against Derek's Animar Soul of Elements deck. So let's, let's roll some dice. Let's roll some dice, blah. Got a, a 10. Hey. I guess Derivi will go on the play. So, uh, so why don't you tell everybody at home watching this video what uh, RTFC means? Read the fucking card. Because <laughs> it's a common problem in Magic where people just don't read the card. Like myself. That's true. And you're like, this does that, and then someone's like, mm, no, it, it doesn't do that at all. <laughs> I'll keep. Yeah, I guess I will too. Let's go with the Hinterland Harbor, tap it, and pass to you. Grimbilke tapped past you. <laughs> Let's go with a Glacial Fortress tapped and passed to you. Yavimaya Coast, year ago. Hope I draw a land. I hope you don't. I didn't. Go ahead. Uh oh. I wasn't being serious, kinda. Blue, green, red, and comes Damar. Yep. Pass turn. I take one damage. So he has he has protection from every color but his colors. Yes, I okay. protection from white and black. Okay. Uh, your go. Combat. Yep. One. One's good. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Uh, yeah, you're up. You gotta discard. Uh, that's that's a tough. That's a tough one. Discard my Karmic Guide. Combat? Kessig Wolf Run. Okay. Response. All Cyclonic Rift. Whoa, easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Cyclonic Rift him. Alright. New replacement effect. If it would go to your hand or go to your library, you can put it in the command zone instead. Actually, I'll just put it in my hand because I'll just recast it. Yeah, that's true. For the three inside of the fire. <coughs> I just didn't want to get smashed in the face first. Right. Well, I was just going to attack you for one again because I needed the free mana. Well, I thought you would just kiss a wolf on him. <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. <laughs> yeah, let's go with our, our planes back down. And, uh, okay. Hmm. I agree. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to talk. Well, I can't tap him with that either because it's white and it targets. <sighs> okay. Cyclonic Rift. Okay. You can go. Relic. 
Macquarie Tower. Yep. 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 I'll block him. How big is that guy? An 04. I'll give him a plus 3, plus O, and trample. So it'll kill your guy, but no damage goes through. Mm -hmm. Pass to you. I'm fine with that. <coughs> I'm sort of okay with it. <laughs> Go to the forest. No. No. <laughs> I'll play a Stoic Angel. What's this number? It's Flying Vigilance and everybody can't untap more than one creature during their turn. Okay. Or during their untap steps, rather. Cool. Uh, you can go. Dax and duplicate. Copy of that. Mm -hmm. That gives my dude a counter thing. So I'll give blue, red, one damage there. And uh, he gets a, he comes in with a, no, he and he comes in with haste though, so I'll attack him. Uh, when I attack the player with the highest life total, he has dethroned. What does that do? He sorry, I should have said it again. <coughs> uh, when whenever it gains dethroned, whenever it attacks the player with the most life total or tied for the most life total, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So okay. as soon as I declare, well, it's got vigilance, so it's not tapped. Uh, <coughs> it also gets a plus one plus one counter. Uh, well, in that case, I won't block it. Fair enough. Uh, I'll take four. Okay. Pass to you. That's the slowest end of our game <laughs> in the history of ever. the turn. <coughs> Attacks? Mm-hmm. 
just keeps triggering every time? No, no, because you no longer have the highest life total. I okay. have the highest life total, okay. so it doesn't trigger again. <coughs> I've dethroned you as king. Response to you declaring attacks. Sure. Oh, I need a I need a blue. I'll put him in play from the command zone and tap that. Response to that. I'll rift him to your hand. Okay. Can I see you? Refuge. I love that land. It is a very good land. Uh, tax step. Mm -hmm. Go for three. Very good. Uh, trigger. I'll tap him. Subduel. Mm -hmm. And I will pass turn. I'm going to go with the tooth and nail, not kicked. Okay. Which modes are you choosing? Putting two creatures from my hand into play. Okay. Does it fly? Yeah, that resolves. I can't do anything about that right now. <clears throat> well, that's wonderful. I can draw two cards. Declare attacks. Tap them down. Pass turn. You forgot your triggers. Which ones? 
off both of your old drowsies? Can I cast them? Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm like, why didn't he blow up something of mine? <laughs> I didn't cast them, I just put them out. <coughs> yeah, I forgot they have that clause on them if you cast them. <coughs> okay. Tax step? Sure. Yep. So five and two calm. Uh, trigger. I'll untap him. <coughs> and I will I will the turn. Well, I already know my two Eldrazi hand attack in this turn. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, a Glistener Elf. Reclamation Sage? Yeah, that's one. I don't even know why. I just made something completely different. Reclamation Sage, yes. Okay. I might have a response to this. I can see this guy. I do have a response to that, but it'll only slow the bleeding. <laughs> in my hand is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> well, is she, is her coming in resolving? I don't know yet. I'm trying to, trying to see here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, with that on the stack, I'll tap these two to tap your two Eldrazi's. And then I will pay four. I'll flash Inventor and bounce this to my hand. Okay. So I still have to draw my card. Yes. That's all I wanted to know. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
person, well, you've already done your thing. He was going to come into play anyways. <laughs> when I was, I was like, well, I'll flash in Venser and bounce the Sage to his hand. I'm like, well, you could just recast it and then kill my glare, so... Okay. I'll cast my, uh, well, not cast, but put in my Thornwood Falls. Mm hmm. Interesting. What's, what's my play going to be? I'm going to go with, I'm going to tap this and two and call green. So I have one, two, three, and he has a fourth one off her because he's a clone of her. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's me, five men all together. And I'll go with acidic slime. And I'll take out your glacial fortress. And then I'll go to combat. Yep. Take four. Uh, well, he gets a plus one plus one counter because you have higher life total than me. So he'll take five. How did I gain life? Oh, I've just lost life. You oh, okay. Gain life. Okay, just, all right. I lost a bunch. Oh, okay. Um, here go. Hmm. See, I'm not good at playing the control decks. So I just sit here and think too long. <laughs> just go with your gut. Make a move. I did miss a trigger though. I didn't draw a card. Off acidic slime coming in. It's a U May. Oh, I was just wondering what that sound was. Oh, it's just the radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. So oh, that motherfucker is even bigger now. A little bit. Not a lot. Well, he's he's pretty big. He's a, a five six. <coughs> yeah, he's got a little size to him.
think I will uh, I think I'll pass turn. Too much thinking going on. Come on, be surprised. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna replay your uh Clear so dual. Only one guy on taps. Mm -hmm. It must be him. <laughs> There's no way you don't have some sort of trickery afoot. <laughs> Maybe, you don't know. I mean, I'm going to force your hand and find out. So. <laughs> Declare attacks. Uh, I can cast cards as though they had flash. Flash this in. Tap him down. And, uh,. Tap away. <laughs> <laughs> I think I may. I think I'll go to my main phase too. Okay. <laughs> because what else can I do right now? this for green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Six green mana. I'll play a little bit of mana reflection. Sure. And then we'll go with two, four, And I will cast Clever Impersonator as a copy of your Glare of Subdual. Excellent. And two taking damage. Two. Sakashimi the Imposter as a copy of Reclamation Sage to kill that. Oh, Sakashimi Student, not Sakashimi the Imposter. Mm hmm. You know, I should have attacked with those two guys, at least I could have. Whatever. Um, pass turn. Oh my god, I didn't draw any cards off any of those guys coming in. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at magic. Uh, attack step. Shoot. Uh, I ain't got no flyers, so that flies. Uh, trigger. Untap him. Okay. How much did he hit for? Three. Cool, man. <coughs> cool, man. All the uh, viewers are turning their graves for every time I've missed Soul the Harvest Trigger. <laughs> Not that they're dead if they're watching, but... They're probably... 
turn in their graves of how long I take for my turns. I played a guy in a pre-release who like purposely stalled out so that like he could get it down to the point where he could more or less win in turns and you didn't really have anything to do about it. And you know, when he was called on for intentional stalling, he was just saying that he was taking his time. I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> Go with an acidic slime and destroy your impersonator that's a copy of Lair of Subduel. Response. Tap your Derivi. And your Stoic Angel. And I guess you are your guy. This dies. Here you go. One guy. Who's it gonna be? I guess I know who it's gonna be. The biggest guy on the board. Okay, I say Moss War Bridge. Let's check out my four hideaway cards. This for my green devotion, right? So one, he's a copy. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I use five of it to cast Garrick's Pack Leader. That'll draw me a card of Soul of the Harvest. Um, so I use five, so I sell four floating. Six. I'll go with a Brutalizer Exarch, uh, and I'll stack the triggers so that I'm going to use his search for, for a creature card and reveal to put on top of my library, and then I'll do the top, draw two cards. <coughs> search my library for a creature card, put on top of my library. You control with power four or greater. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, attacks? Yep. Tristan. How many is it? Four? Yeah. Take 13. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, 12. Right? He gets a counter because he hits. Well, yeah, it doesn't go on until after he hits me, but he gets a counter off that. When he hits me, he gets a counter. Alright, so be 12 then. I guess I should RTFC my own cards. Because <laughs> I didn't even realize. I only thought he had the draw ability. So, yeah, I guess he gets a. He wouldn't.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Anamar wins this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, actually, I, I should say the Eldrazi won this game. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll catch you later. Thanks a lot.